Hello boys. Today we'll discuss about chapter number 4 that is birth chapter actually chapter number 3 is not given in the syllabus i'm showing you this the respiratory system is not in the syllabus we have done chapter number 1 chapter number 2 now we'll do chapter number 4 that is about birth all right then we'll do all back questions uh there are many kinds of birds around us some are big and some are small you must have seen some can fly very high in the sky while some cannot fly like ostrich is a bird which cannot fly some have colorful feathers and some some can run very fast some birds can even swim too but they have one thing in common they all have beaks claws feathers wings and sounds yet they are special in their own ways here one diagram one picture is given these birds have four parts this is this is their eyes this is called their beak are you seeing this this is their wings and this is their claws so most birds can fly they have feathers which make their body light and fluffy and help them to fly the feathers of birds are of different shapes sizes and colors you must have seen feathers of birds lying around this is because birds lost their old feathers and new ones grow in their place a bird has different types of feathers on its body they have there are three types of feathers on their body number 1 is down feathers these down feathers help them to keep the uh, to keep the uh, keep them warm down feathers help to keep the bird warm second body feathers help to give the bird's body its shape third one is flight feathers are found on the wings and tail actually flight feathers are found on their wings and tail they help the bird to fly and change direction these are the three different kind of feathers a bird has this is the picture of down feather this is the picture of body feather and this third one is the picture of flight feather is it clear now next page we'll discuss about how birds fly a bird's body has certain features that enable them to fly first one first one how birds fly a bird's body has certain features that enable them to fly number 1 its body is boat shaped you must have seen boat which sails on river this helps it to cut through the air easily second one its bones are light and hollow birds bones are very light and they are hollow also this make its body very light third one a bird has wings instead of arms we have arms but a bird does not have any arm they have wings the wings are joined to its body with very strong muscles the muscles help the wings flap up and down number 4 its tail helps it to change direction while flying now the wings of a bird move up and down like this wings of a bird 
when the wings move up when the wings move up it is called up stroke movement and when the wings move down it is called down stroke movement it is quite like how we move our arms when we swim flying differently pigeons swallows cranes and geese can fly very long distances these birds can fly very long distances hens and peacocks fly only a short distance they cannot fly long distances hens and peacocks they fly only a short distance vultures and eagles fly high up in the sky sparrows and bulbuls fly lower down some birds cannot fly like ostrich kiwi and the emu cannot fly the ping penguin also cannot fly it uses its wing to swim in water beaks birds have now we'll discuss about their beaks birds have different types of beaks Their beaks help them to break and tear the food into small pieces. Birds have no teeth like us. We have teeth, but birds have no teeth. They have beak instead of teeth. Is it clear? The shape and size of a bird beak depends upon what it eats. Different birds eat different kinds of food. While some eat fruits, some birds eat fruits. some birds eat seeds some eat fish meat of other animals and insects most of the chewing is done inside their body after their food has been swallowed they don't have teeth so they cannot chew they swa- swallowed the food that they eat vultures and owls are meat eaters their beak is sharp and hooked it helps them to cure the animal's flesh the hoopo has a long hoopo is a kind of type of bird they have they has a long thin beak it uses it to pick insects from the ground a woodpecker has a very strong sharp beak it can make holes in the trunks of trees it also catches insects hiding in the trunk with its beak sparrows most of us you have seen sparrows and hens are seed eaters they eat seeds they have a short beak to break and crush seeds a parrot's curved beak you must have seen parrot also their beaks are very curved helps it to eat hard seeds nuts and fruits kingfishers and herons are fish eaters these two birds eat fish they have sharp pointed beaks they dive into water to catch fish a duck's beak is special it takes muddy water in its flat beak insects and plants remain inside the water flows out of holes in its lower beak very interesting now we'll discuss about their feet and claws the shape and size of a bird's feet and claws depend on where it lives they also depend on what and how it eats birds like crows you must have seen crows and sparrows perch on branches they have three toes in front and one at the back the back toe curls around the branch so the bird does not fall off it stays on the branch when the wind blows hard and even when it sleeps some birds like woodpecker can climb trees they have two toes in front and two at the back these help them to cling onto the tree trunk hens like to scratch the ground sometimes you must have seen hens scratching the ground to find seeds and insects they have strong legs and hard claws owls and eagles are hunters 
these birds are called hunters they have have sharp claws called talons to catch leaf rats and other small animals they catch leaf rats very interesting there are two kinds of water birds one is swimmers other is waders swimmers like ducks have web feet they have skin growing between their toes this skin is called a web a web foot is like a paddle ducks use their web feet to push the water back easily while swimming waders like heron have long legs and spreading toes they can walk in shallow water without getting wet their spreading toes make sure that they do not sink in the wet mud